How long have you been playing Smash Ultimate? Which characters do you enjoy using most? Maybe after playing for a couple of months and getting good at the game, you figured out a single character that you enjoy using more than anyone else. In fact, you love this character so much that you can't see yourself using anyone else on the roster. This is what we call a main, and if you're trying to get to a more competitive level, having a main is almost essential to being a better Smash player. By limiting yourself to one character, you learn more than just matchups and combos. You get fluent enough with your character to where you can focus primarily on adapting to your opponent's playstyle rather than trying to remember all the cool tech you can do with whoever you're using. Maybe you haven't found that character though. Maybe you've been playing for hundreds or even thousands of hours, but you still haven't found a character that clicks with you yet. That's nothing to feel bad about. After all, with 89 characters on the roster, limiting yourself to one single character might seem like a daunting task. And as you get better at the game, your playstyle can evolve. Meaning that even if you're just using one character, you might find that another character could handle situations more easily than the one you're using. For example, maybe you chose Dr. Mario, but once you started competing at a higher level, you start to notice all of the weaknesses that wouldn't exist had you chosen Mario instead. Or maybe you saw a tier list and thought that maybe you can do better with Pikachu, Joker, or Mithra than you can do with Corrin. There are lots of reasons why you might not have a main. And whether you're a beginner, an expert, or anyone in between, my hope is that I'll be able to help you narrow down your choices so that you can find a single character who will take you to that next level. Now let's get started. So, some of you may have already seen some of my other videos on picking out a main, but if you haven't, there's a phrase that I really like that I believe has a lot of weight to it. You don't choose your main, your main chooses you. Okay, what does that even mean? How does a character choose you? Well, the main takeaway is that if you continue playing around with all the different Smash characters, eventually one will stick out from the others. When I first started playing Smash Ultimate, I really wanted a character with a chargeable neutral special like Samus or Donkey Kong, a good recovery, and a kit where I could see myself using all of their moves rather than just spamming the good moves. I'm looking at you, Nest Mains. So eventually, after playing with all of the characters, I found that Robin fit everything that I wanted perfectly. I started winning more games and enjoying the process of getting better at Smash Ultimate. Then, as time went on, I found myself using more characters and changing my mains as new DLC came out. I found myself switching to Byleth, Pyra, and eventually Sora. Some of you may be relieved to know that even if you pick a main, you won't necessarily be held down to that one option. You can always change your mind later if you find someone else that you like more. That being said though, that might make other people even more stressed out. How can you get better at the game if you're constantly switching your main? Let's break it down to a level that anyone can understand. The character you use the most is the one that you will get better at the quickest and the one that you'll be the most comfortable using. Even though I've changed my main from Byleth, she's still the character that I've used more than anyone else on the roster, and she's also the character that I feel the most comfortable using. After spending hundreds of hours with that one character alone, I feel like I can focus primarily on my opponent without even thinking about what my moves are. It just feels more natural to me than when I use anyone else. So if I feel most comfortable with Byleth, why isn't she my main anymore? Well, it just so happens that other characters were introduced where I just felt an immediate attachment. First came Pyra and Mithra, and I switched to them not only because I was having loads of fun, but also because I felt like my ceiling was much higher with them than with Byleth. Then Sora came out, and I started to main him because I liked his big goofy shoes. You probably think I'm joking, don't you? So wait, what are you supposed to do? Do you just main Palutena because she has a side taunt that you really like? Should you main Joker because he's one of the best characters in the game? Well, I hate asking the same question in basically all of my videos, but here's the biggest factor when making your decision. What are your goals? What's your reason for having a main in the first place? Are you trying to be the best player in the world? Maybe the best player in your area with a specific character? Or are you just playing to have fun and get better at the game? Each one of those questions has different answers, so if you're stressed about finding one character, try thinking about it from your own circumstance. Let's just say that you're playing to have fun. If that's the case, I would HIGHLY recommend that you not worry about it. Just use everybody until you find a character that you like or a playstyle that works for you. The main thing you need to be worrying about is enjoying the process, not necessarily winning. If you lose, do you still feel yourself growing? Are there things about your character that you're still having fun with? If you feel like you're getting angry with every single loss, 
try doing free-for-alls with people who aren't playing too competitively. Eventually, you'll figure out what does and doesn't work for you specifically. While you may grow the quickest if you stick to one character, you'll still grow even if there are three or four or five characters that you cycle between. Okay, so now let's think about it from a competitive standpoint. Let's say you want to be competitive at a local level. Well, what do you want to be known for? Do you want to be known as the best player in your city or state? Or would you rather be known as the best daisy player in your area? Either direction is totally fine, and each one has its own bragging rights. I just don't want you to focus on being at the top of your local power rankings if you're in the same region as a top 50 player, or really anyone who's been playing competitively for a long time. Start with the small goals and let yourself grow little by little. Don't try to force Pikachu if you don't even like using him. Instead, use whoever you feel the most comfortable playing. And if you really want to make another character work, maybe try using them once per set. I can't stress enough how important it is to not let tier lists influence your decision. While yes, some characters do have more potential than others, it's not always possible to say which characters are the best, or even which characters are viable. Tier lists are based on opinions, they're not a scientific measuring stick for a character's meta. Just use who you like, and only experience will tell you what your potential is with that character. Now that that's out of the way, let's say that you're looking to compete at the highest level. Let's say that you want to be one of the best players in the world. First of all, do not make this your goal until after you've had success at your local level. Trying to shoot for the moon when you're still learning a character's kit will stress you out to the point where it just won't be fun anymore. Of course, you should always push yourself to be a better Smash player, but just focus on the baby steps. Trust me, it's amazing how much you can grow if you just let yourself play at your current level. But just for fun, let's just say that hypothetically, you are the best player in your area. Should you stick with your main even if your best character is the Ice Climbers? I'm going to say this one more time and I promise I'll be done. Are you trying to be the best Ice Climbers player in the world, or are you trying to be the best player in the world? If you're winning local tournaments and your goal is to win major tournaments, you may have to drop your main for someone more viable. That's not set in stone though. There are top players out there who main Luigi, Falco, Rosalina, and even Duck Hunt. Then again, there are also players out there who use Mithra, Rob, and Roy. It's up to you to determine how much potential you believe you have with your character. Do you think you can win major tournaments with Toon Link? Go ahead and try! I would still recommend having another character in your back pocket though, just in case. Now let's wrap up. If you're like the vast majority of Smash players, you mainly play Smash Online, and if that's the case, don't worry about having one character and never using anyone else. It's a game, and one you should be playing to enjoy. If you find yourself switching between 17 different characters, then darn it, that's exactly what you should do! You think that just because I'm a Sora main, I've stopped using Pyra and Byleth? Heck no! Even if Sora is the character that I use the most right now, it doesn't mean that I don't still play other characters that I love. There are 89 characters on this roster, and I want you to enjoy that. You don't need to limit yourself to one character, but if you do, I'd prefer that character come to you. Use whoever makes you happy, whether that's just one or half the roster. So, what do you think? Do you have a main character? Is there anyone else you'd like to try out? Leave a comment to let me know, and I'll see you guys next time.